Hey guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In today's video, while it's not going to be all post-commentary, we'll have quite a bit of post-commentary going throughout it. And uh, what I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video is the wonderful world of speedrunning. Like, what speedrunning is, why I do it, and like, what's the point of it really. So, yeah. Uh, what you guys are actually seeing in front of you here was my first failed attempt at a Minecraft any% percent speedrun. It wasn't my first run, but it was just the run right before the run that you guys are about to watch and essentially what any percent means with Minecraft or with any game it means to basically reach the end of the game it means to kill the end boss or to reach the credits through uh, some means uh, whatever means necessary in this category is specifically glitchless so this is any percent glitchless on a set seed which is specifically set in 1.6.4 and the reason why I chose to do this run glitchless is because uh, the main glitch that's used within Minecraft speedrunning is actually a glitch that allows you to duplicate items, which is not something I'm really a huge fan of, but the, also the other reason I haven't really speedrun this game at all is because the main element of the game that was like the main randomness element was uh, collecting ender pearls, and that's just something that was far too random for me to ever get into this for speedrunning, but one special thing about this seed specifically that you guys are going to see is that the end portal room that spawns spawns with eight of the end portal frames filled, and within the stronghold that that end portal is in, there's four ender pearls within chests which means it removes the need or the necessity to ever have to kill endermen at all so that's one thing that was very exciting to me about the speedrun is because you know you don't have to deal with that randomness factor there are still plenty of random things that you have to deal with throughout the speedrun but it's not nearly as bad as having to wait for endermen to spawn that is pretty killer so before I go any further explaining speedrunning in general I probably should explain what's going on with the run itself that you guys are actually watching here uh, though if you guys are watching the run itself, then you probably get a pretty good idea as to what's going on. But I'll explain why I'm getting the items that I'm getting. So the items that I'm getting right now is, as you can see, I just needed to get enough cobblestone so I could make a furnace so that I could cook up the iron here. And the reason why I'm getting iron is because I do need to make myself a, a chest plate for the uh, the end segment because that fight is pretty hard. Though in future runs, I actually won't be doing that. But I also need to be able to get enough iron so that I can specifically craft a bucket, some shears, and then a flint and steel. And the bucket you obviously need for water for various parts, but in this run you need it so that you can uh, craft a nether portal. You need the shears so that you can get uh, wool from sheep so that you can make beds and because beds are the most powerful weapon that you can use against the ender dragon, which you will be seeing later on in this run. And I also have to collect flint, which I can use to make arrows. And uh, arrows are obviously required in order to destroy the uh, ender crystals in the end fight. So yeah, and then uh, you'll see more as the run progresses. Alright, so you guys pretty much get the idea as to what speedrunning is now if you guys were not informed on it before. It's just beating the game as fast as you can. There's multiple different categories for beating this game as fast as you can, and there's multiple different categories for Minecraft speedrunning in general, along with most games that are speedrun in general. If you guys are interested in speedrunning for this game, be sure to check out the website speedrun.com mc, where you guys can see the uh, best times for this category and for all of the other categories of Minecraft speedrunning. But I do want to answer a couple of questions like why do I speedrun you know what what's the incentive for me is it something that like gets boring for me you know how long have I been doing it and uh, am I just copying Seth Bling which has been a very common question as of lately because I started shortly after him uh, I'll answer the Seth Bling thing now and the answer is no because I've been into speedrunning in general for a very very long time like since the 1990s and uh, the reason why well the reason why it's been that long is because you know back when Ocarina of Time was still like a new game and after I'd beaten it a few times I tried to, well, not specifically time myself, but I still like to beat the game as fast as I could. And I've really always enjoyed that element of speedrunning. And I recently got back into speedrunning, like, in 2011 or 2012, when the hype on the internet for speedrunning really started to flourish. So, yeah, you could say that I've been a speedrunner ever since. And to further answer the question of, am I just copying Sethling? Well, no, because uh, everyone is copying everyone when they're doing speedrunning. Uh, speedrunning flourishes from having competition, and I've always wanted to speedrun Minecraft in general. I've always wanted to do a sort of any percent speedrun of Minecraft, but only up until recently I haven't been able to do it. But recently, this seed was found where 8 of the 12 portal frames are filled up, and you don't need to kill any Endermen. So that's why I've been really, really into this category of speedrunning, because it's something that I genuinely 
genuinely enjoy. So here's the big open-ended question. What is the point of speedrunning? Should I get into speedrunning? And why do I personally speedrun? Well, in order to answer the question of whether or not you want to get into speedrunning is really, does this sort of thing excite you? Like, as with all things, if something excites you and you really like the idea of wanting to do it, you just need to do it. You know, if it's something that you think about wanting to do for months and months and months, like most people who want to start YouTubing, then, uh, yeah, it's probably not for you if it's not something that you find yourself getting into naturally. Uh, this category of speedrunning is something that, you know, really fell into place very naturally for me because I love the thrill of getting the run. I love the thrill of improving on your craft slowly until you get better and better and better at it. I've always been a big fan of the types of games where I improve at slowly but always have noticeable improvement. Guitar Hero is a very specific example of that. I was very bad in the beginning, but I got better at it. Minecraft was another great example of that. There's plenty of games out there that are great examples of that. So yeah, I mean, I get a, an extreme thrill out of speedrunning, and uh, that's really why I do it. And if that's something that sounds good to you, then I recommend you guys give it a shot. So that's about all I have to say on the front of speedrunning, so I'll go ahead and I'll explain a couple of elements of the run that you guys are now seeing in front of you here. A little while ago, I killed a bunch of chickens so that I could get the feathers required in order to make the arrows, and now at this point, I'm using the water and I'm using some of the leaves and I'm using my bucket to collect a bunch of lava so that I can actually craft a nether portal. But it's not going to go as smoothly as I usually have. I wasn't able to get the lava quick enough and the water drained out, so I probably lost a good like 30 seconds of time time here, maybe closer to 20 seconds of time, just by having to go back and get this water and then go back to the, uh, the nether portal here. But anyways, the reason why I got leaves as well was to use during the end fight later on. It allows you to uh, tunnel, well not tunnel, but it allows you to bridge over to the end island once that's actually occurring. So my nether split here was very, very lucky. Um, as you guys can see, maybe off in the distance there, there's actually a blaze that's right there. Now, what you normally have to do during the split is you run all the way down a pathway to a blaze spawner and then you wait for the blazes to spawn and then you hopefully right. get two blazes right away. But I got very lucky with the spawn rates on blazes here. The three of them spawned out in the open, and they spawned in locations where I could actually uh, fight them. So this guy was lucky enough to give me a drop, and then there was another blaze around the corner here that I kind of had to maneuver around so he wouldn't kill me, because uh, those two probably would have killed me if I didn't maneuver around them. Um, yeah, so I decided to kill it. I kill another one of these blazes, and funny enough, they both dropped a blaze rod, and I was able to get out of the nether very quickly. But normally what you do is you run down that corridor, you place gravel in the way of the lava that's on the floor, and then you, uh, you know, you deal with the blaze spawner that way. So anyways, uh, I actually had to mine up my furnace here, where normally you just leave the furnace behind, but I knew for a fact that not everything was going to be cooked. There were, I think, eight pieces of iron that were going to be cooking up in there. So anyways, from this point in the run, I'm basically just making my way to the end portal. Uh, a little bit before I get there, I'm going to have to do a pretty major crafting segment where I uh, craft myself a boat and then a, uh, all the beds that I need. And then from there, uh, I'll, you know, commentate more once we get towards the end. Now that I remembered to actually take the furnace, I can use the furnace in the end room and cook up the remaining stuff while I'm doing the whole crafting sequence. That was a good split, but the first one was so cancerous that it, I don't know, was kind of ruined by that. But that's okay. I'm still going to just go with it. Okay. Bang, bang. Uh, no. There we go. Okay. Uh, now I need to do this. Bang. Boat first. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. And then do this. A pig was like taunting me to kill it, and I probably should have. I like overjumped the boat. Whoops. This is gonna be a good run. It could be. Might not be. Might be. We'll see. I'm just gonna try my best. It's all a matter of like how that stronghold goes. Like, there's a lot of random factors. Like, the stronghold is what has killed my past two god tier runs was just the amount of mobs that were in the stronghold. Like, I got creeper central. Like, I literally, it's as if I broke into a creeper spawner. Because there was like six or seven of them. Alright, I still have two pork chops, so that's good. Alright, come on, let's, let's not have this happen again, huh? Ooh, a little too much damage, but whatever, we're good. 
Ooh, ow. I did not mean to fall directly through that hole. That's bad. If there are like any mobs here, I could be screwed. Well, better luck so far. Why did I close the door behind me? I don't know. So I need to craft pretty much everything. Except for the beds. Uh, hello? I hear something. I need to remember the furnace first. Cook up the remaining iron that I have. Which I guess I'm going to be using the wood for. I'm pretty sure... I Yeah, I have enough sticks to make to do what I need to do. Yeah, see, I only have the five iron. So, alright, let's go ahead and let's just figure out what else do I need to craft. Let me craft this. Okay, that's good. And uh, I think I have the beds that I need, so let's go ahead and let's do a quick throw out session. Okay, don't need that, don't need that. I don't need the gravel anymore. Bang, bang. Oh, I haven't crafted the arrows yet. That's right, I forgot about that. Okay, and then let's go and let's craft the armor here. Okay, bang, bang. And then bang, bang. Let's go. I'll be ahead, but it won't be like a gold split or anything. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna gain further time. All right. So at this point in the run, as you can see, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I have leaves here in order to tunnel over to the end platform area. Now the Ender Dragon was treating me quite nicely throughout the course of this run, in that the Ender Dragon didn't really come after me at all here. Normally, you might wind up taking like a full minute to get over to the island just because the Ender Dragon is trolling you, and you have to watch out for the Ender Dragon constantly. But anyways, the only really unique thing that I need to explain about this run versus a normal Ender Dragon fight is the fact that I use beds to deal damage to the ender dragon and that is because it does a pretty po like whenever you use a bed in either the nether or the end instead of actually using the bed the bed just explodes and the explosion is akin to that of like a TNT explosion I'm not sure exactly what the amount of damage is however uh, a direct TNT explosion to the ender dragon's face is a lot more powerful than just wasting your arrows away on the ender dragon so if you get really lucky you might only need to use three or four beds in total if you get really really good shots on the ender dragon and another question you, might, you guys might be asking is why is there a giant white cube around the ender crystals and around the ender dragon and that is due to a very uh, simple feature within minecraft called hitboxes if you hold f3 and you hit the letter b on your keyboard then it will enable hitboxes that allow you to see that and it does actually make you know shooting the ender dragon a little bit more reliable uh, so when you place down a bed and then you right click on the bed it's a lot easier to tell that the Ender Dragon is in the right spot if it if you have hitboxes on versus if you don't have hitboxes on. Okay. This is serious. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come after me. Come at me. Come at me. This is a serious run. Come on. Come here. Come here. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, we might be charging. I saw her turn around. Yep. That was okay. Ah, oh, crap. I thought you were going to charge me again super quickly. Come on, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. This could be good. This could be good. Just get over here. Get your butt over here. You know you want to get your butt over here. Please get over here. Please get over here. Oh, is that a charge? No, maybe. Maybe. No, you're charging away from me. Ah! You chose to charge like 30 blocks away. Come on. Oh, you're charging. Okay. Oh, very good second hit. Very good. Okay, come on, baby. This could be really serious. I see you charging again. Very good third hit. Oh god. Whew, whew. Got knocked away, but that's okay. Okay, where are you? No way! No way! No way! I did it! 
So yeah, I was screaming for excitement there because uh, if you look to the right of the webcam, those are specifically the various splits in the run. And whenever there's a gold color, it means that I did that specific split faster than I've ever done any other section. And the segment for the end was by far a gold split. That was by far the quickest I had ever defeated the Ender Dragon. So obviously I was really excited about it. Oh, yeah, baby. That was it. That was that was such a good end run. Oh god. <laughs> nice. Nice. That was my last run too. That's right. I announced that. Dude, what a great run. So yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for me for this run. Uh, if you guys did find yourself enjoying this run and you would like to see more of it, then feel free to check out my channel at twitch.tv slash antvenom because that's where you're going to find me live streaming all of these, uh, you know, uh, runs of Minecraft. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you feel inclined to, feel free to hit the like button on the video and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below discussing the video or discussing your favorite aspects of Minecraft. Who knows? But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you all have enjoyed uh, and I hope you all learned something. My name is Ant Venom and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.